Today on Mac here for Tools, we are going to unbox and test out the brand new Brushless Works switch driver. Now, I did not buy this. A Works actually contacted me and they agreed to my terms of testing out their tools. No cash towards me, no money payment, no uh, nothing. I get to do whatever I want with this tool and upload whatever I want. So what we're going to do is we are actually going to test out a 4 amp hour battery versus the 2 amp hour battery that this comes with. The one that I did before wasn't that bad. You know, uh, I was trying to break the tool and I did not, I was not able to break that tool uh, in one video. I was hoping to. As you guys know, I love brushless tools. I can't stand brush tools. I can't. Because for a few dollars more, you can get a much better product, even if it's within the same company. Just to let you guys know, the unboxing is going to be at the end. And so let's look at the specs and get to it. The Works Nitro with a uh, two amp hour battery weighs two pounds and 12.7 ounces. In this video, what I mainly want to find out is what's the difference between a two amp hour and a four amp hour battery when it comes to power to the motor. Now, we, we aren't going to do a complete torture test like we did with the brushed one. If this is worthy, we will be doing versus videos against all the other brand of drill drivers that I have. And so, yeah, let's uh, see what this thing can do. I do like it that both of these batteries have indicators on the front. 4 amp hour battery is full. Four, uh, 2 amp hour battery is full as well. Uh, let's see what these can do against each other. In minus well, I'm going to take advantage of these collets as I can. Is a quick insert. Nope, we need to adjust both of them, I'm going to assume. Yep, we got to adjust both collets. So we have the, the bit for 8 inch timber lock and we have the nut setter bit for uh, Eight uh, for six inch specs. All right, so let's do two eight inch Timberlocks with two amp hour. Then we'll do two with the four amp hour. Now remember, this is a brand new tool, so it does need to be broken in. And that's what this video really is gonna do. We are gonna keep this in drill mode because we do not, we're not interested on using the clutch that goes up to nine. So drill mode it is. And as for those of you who do not know what the clutch setting does, that's on the clutch setting one. I'll show you guys. See, as you can see, it stops. All right, so now let's put it into drill mode. Oh, we're on, we're on speed one, by the way. Not bad. Like that's a lot better than the other one. That's not bad. That's a lot better than the brush version. I'll put that the brush version in test right now. All right, it's flashing out. Let's continue. So let's do another one. Let's see if we can do it on speed too. I doubt it, but just out of curiosity. Nope, it cannot. Speed, it's too much torque for speed two. So let's switch it back to speed one. Let's give it a test. Not bad for a two amp hour battery. That is smooth. That is smooth. That is so much better than the brush version. See, that's why I cannot stand brush tools, you guys. Because for a little bit more money, you get a much, far more powerful tool. All right, so let's switch over, and that's with the two amp hour battery. Let's see what the difference is between these two. Let's see, about right here. Then we're gonna take them out. Time, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. All right, let's drive in the next one. We'll do it right there. Ah! 
Oh, yep, time. All right, let's uh, take out the two amp hours. Then we're gonna drive in uh, one Spax each. Not bad, all right, now let's see if we could do it, take it out on, oh, that is speed two, holy cow. Not bad. Not bad, it's actually taking it out on speed two. I'm actually surprised about that. All right, let's do the four amp hours. All right, let's have trouble with that one. Let's see. Time. All right, well, we're gonna give this one a few more pulls. Let's see what it can do. Motor smells pretty darn good. It does not smell burning like the brush version was. It can do it. I'm gonna do it till it does. You almost got it. You can do it. There we go. Up oh, almost. Okay, gotta give it a break. Probably take the battery out. Just safety me uh, safety system inside. Probably just to make sure you don't fry the motor out. There we go. Right, let's do that again. There we go. Got it. Yeah, motors does not smell burning at all, but let's do a temperature reading on that. Let's see how hot that is. More tests will be coming in the future. 196, 115, 112 degrees. Which, I'm not going to lie, guys, that switch feature does not, you know, it's not, that doesn't really impress me. It, it's, it's a, to me, that's a sort of useless feature to have. I'd rather, like, that's just me, though. Let's do a six inch specs on speed. Let's try speed two with a two amp hour battery. I'm oh, sorry. Let's try that again. It's a little hard to balance this tool. Oh, okay, that's where it cuts out. Let's do a quick test with a four amp hour. Let's see if we can drive it in further on speed two. Do it right here. Nope. Uh, I, 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 I have a strong suspicion that the two amp hour battery is more powerful than the four. It might be me though. It might be me. I honestly think so. But we'll, time will tell though. Let's take them out and restart. All right, let's put the two amp hour battery back in. Speed one, it's on drill. Time. It is impressive that it can do that. Like it really is impressive. All right, let's do the four amp hour battery on speed one. See what the difference is. Time. All right, let's take the two amp hours out. We are using Hilti nut setter bits, by the way. That is time. Take out the four amp hours. Not bad. Not too shabby. It, I'm, it actually does impress me that it does. It did this right away. But it didn't require any additional normal break-in. It actually did these tasks right away, straight out of the box. Unlike the brushed version of this, the, but this one did it immediately. Your tools will last longer. There's less maintenance, and there's. It, it's actually for a couple of dollars more. It's far more powerful than previous brushed models.
Let's uh, do one more test with these. Let's uh, whip out a four, uh, four by four and see how these do with uh, boring out holes. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna, the, the very first thing we're gonna test out is a one and a half inch speed bore. If it could do this, it could do a lot more. Let's see, speed, it, no, uh, not many drills, not many tools can do this on speed two, so let's do it on speed one. I'm, I'll be, I'm hoping that this can. It would be amazing if it can do this. We're gonna test it out both on the two amp hour and four amp hour. Wow. Holy cow. Wow, it did it. Holy cow. Just curious, it probably won't. It'd probably go a couple of centimeters and then stop. Yep. It cannot do that. So let's see what the four amp hour can do and we're gonna time that. Guys, just to just let you know, just because it did this, this would do so much more. It would do like a lot less than this. Like this is a big deal. This is a hard task. The fact that it could do that is amazing. All right, let's see what the four amp hour battery can do. Time. I'm gonna flat out say, if you guys were looking into the works nitro line and you guys needed a convincing video to do it, or someone to tell you that it's good, let's take it out. The fact that it could do a one and a half inch speed bore is a huge deal. I am surprised by that. What's the battery life on this? Battery life is still full. And the battery life on the two amp hour is at two bars. Not too shabby, so both of them were actually able to get that done. That is amazing. Again, I did not buy this. Works sent this to me to test out. And the previous br brushed model was garbage. Do not buy that Works brush model. That is garbage. Get the Works Nitro brushless stuff. This is actually a pretty decent drill. This is a big deal. I'm, this really, I'm sorry to say it again, but doing this is a big deal. It doesn't matter what speed. This is a big deal. Not too shabby, you guys. And I thank you, Works, for sending me this to test out. More videos of this are coming out. Versus videos are definitely coming out. I want to see how well this does against the other brands. Also, did send me the 4 amp hour battery because I requested it. All right, but inside this kit, of course, you get instructions. You know, like I said, it comes with like a, a real charger. It doesn't come with that crappy charge that I had last time. Instructions and warranty. It, uh, it comes with a two amp hour battery. And this battery also does have a, a battery level indicator. Battery is full. Of course, we get the charger. The charger, the model number for the charger is WA3881. This is 120 volts at 60 hertz at 50 watts. Does come with a works bag. I didn't know that. It zips from the top, then spreads, just like so. Then last but not least, you get a couple of bits. We'll take a look at that. And the tool itself. Not too shabby. It is a brushless motor. I'm excited to test this out and see what this can do. They do have a screw mode and drill mode. It does have a digital clutch and it goes all the way up to nine. One to nine. Then if you go to drill mode, the clutch is uh, uh, irrelevant just like any other tool. So that's pretty much it you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.